All right, uh, Shalom. All uh, praise and glory and honor goes to Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kakwadash. Double unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and the rule well. And as always, peace and blessings to the elect. This is a uh, um, another edition of GMS ATL phone talk, and uh, I just want to do a, a commentary. This is on this video um, from. Uh, Actually, from uh, IUIC, Israel United in Christ, from their uh, Atlanta camp. And uh, the video, as you can see here on the screen, is the Israelites, when is the true Sabbath? Um, Juneteenth edition, whatever that means. Um, and, uh, you know, the Spirit had me click on it. Um, you know, I watched um, actually a good portion of the video. You know the majority of the video, and you know basically what they were doing what was they were um, explaining to a couple of uh, people in the crowd when the Sabbath was. All right, now um, we we here uh, at Great Millstone, and we know IUIC and you know um, the Bishop Nathaniel over there, and basically how they keep the Sabbath different. Um, they keep it uh, f Friday to Saturday. Now the scripture says, of course, you know, judge, judge no man in keeping of the uh, Sabbath um, for it is a shadow of things to come and that's, I believe, in the book of uh, Colossians. Okay? But um, the thing that actually made me want to uh, commentate on this video and do a little bit of, uh, I guess you could say, uh, fixing up on their doctrine is because he basically uh, went into it. You know, he went to the background and he mangled the scriptures. He mangled the scriptures. He mangled the breakdown. And they have been taught wrong. The members of IURC have been taught wrong how to keep the Sabbath. And they're teaching the people out there, those that, that could possibly be of the elect, all right, um, slated for salvation, they're teaching them wrong as well, okay? And we can't have that. So there has been some shoddy work done by the IUIC Atlanta burning camp church, okay? And through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashmi Yahweh Shai, I'm just going to speak a few words uh, you know, where he goes off and then bring up some, you know, some points. All right. I'm not going to slander or, 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 you know, make a, a, a mess of this video. But I, uh, I do want to edify. All right. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, play this. And Lord willing, you can hear it, you know, hear what he says. And uh, you get the true understanding. All right. Once I start speaking. So I'm going to go ahead and play it. Right now, um, now you now you hear this guy, um, this uh, man in that camp. I don't. Um, uh, he he says that the uh, the uh, first day of the week, the first day of the week, or I should say the seventh day of the week is uh, Saturday. All right, according to this calendar, 
all right? And they're basically going on the uh, notion that, well, they're going according to this calendar, okay, the, the uh, Gregorian calendar, that uh, Monday, uh, or I should say Sunday through Saturday, are the seven, the seven days of the week, and that the last day, Saturday, is the uh, seventh day. Or I should even say the, uh, the evening of the Friday, that Friday evening going into Saturday is, uh, is uh, the Sabbath, okay? Um, but when you go into the scriptures, you can see nowhere in them that Sunday or Saturday is found in the scriptures, all right? In, in the King James Version that we all, uh, as Hebrew Israelites, have been taught from, okay? There is no, um, nowhere in, in, in the scriptures that it says uh, Sunday is the first day of the week, Saturday is the seventh day of the week. Otherwise, it would be said in, in, in the book of Genesis in the beginning or during the time of Moses, all right? Like that would have been established, okay, as the uh, uh, days of the week, okay? But I'm going to let this guy keep uh, speaking, okay? And Lord willing, I won't make this video too long. I just want to let him speak and say his points and then uh, correct that. So I'm going I'm to let this guy speak. And this brother here with, uh, with the dreadlocks that came up to the camp, he's going to ask a question, which is a, a good question, by the way. All right. All right. Since so that's, you know, the man-made calendar, okay? Okay. okay? I mean, Please. you know, before there was only 12 months, oh, you okay. know, before there was, or 10 months, before there was 12 months. So basically, you're yeah. 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 asking about the calendar. Yeah. You said you're going about a man-made calendar. I guess Thank the white man, right? Yeah. I'm going to show you. Read this first, then we're gonna jump on the calendar and go back okay. to the uh keeping up the law. Read that. All right, you'll keep Six up. days shall work be done. Uh -huh. But the seventh day is the seventh of rest. So the question is, which is the seventh day? Is it Sunday or is it Saturday? What about you, brother? What do you think the seventh day is? Uh, Thank you. Saturday. Right. Now, according to this calendar right here that we use today, uh, uh, Saturday would be the seventh day, okay, according to this calendar. But we did not use the calendar of uh, the, the 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 Gregorian calendar, all right, in uh, ancient Jerusalem, all right. Nor did we use the uh, the Roman calendar, okay. That wasn't a part of our customs, all right. But I'm gonna keep playing the video. I'm not sure if you can hear, but uh, this guy here, he, he said the Bible has its own calendar, or are we going by the man-made calendar? So he, so even he understands that the Bible, the Israelites had their own calendar, and then you have a calendar that was made by man or the heathens, okay? Shall wear out 
the saints of the Most High and think to change times and laws. So the times that they think to change is months. Because if you look at the number of months, January, correct? That's the first month according to the calendar, right? Which calendar is that? does acknowledge that January and the, the uh, you know the other months are a part of Esau's calendar he says their calendar okay um, but that will also include the days of the week would it not the days of the week the months that's all a part of Esau's calendar so-called white man's calendar so it could be no way that in ancient Jerusalem we were using even going back to the time of Genesis and, you know, and the time of Adam and afterwards, the chosen people of the Lord, the sons of God, all right, which were uh, turned into Israel, we did not use the calendar of the heathens, okay? It was only in our captivities that we were subject under those uh, 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 um, times, just like today, okay? But nevertheless, we had our own calendar, all right? In the Roman time was the Julian calendar. Oh, okay, now oh. this is what I want to get into too. Um, all right, but before I get back to this point, because because basically what he said was, I'm gonna jump back a little bit. Uh, he said that Christ used the Julian calendar. All right, and that's a lie. Okay, but I'm gonna. Uh, I'm going to go back, but let me get these days of the week. Okay. Uh, I believe it's here. Let me see. I might have to go back. Um, it's one of these tabs. Okay. Yeah, this is what I did. All right. Well, it's not letting me go back. Um, let's see. So let's go to the KJV. And what I did was I typed in Sunday. I typed in Sunday in the KJV. And as you can see, there is no Sunday. Okay? There's no Sunday. There's no Saturday. All right? In the KJV. <clears throat> so for him to, for, so for him to say that that Saturday is the seventh day and Sunday is the first day. That's not according to our history. That's according to what Esau has given us. But if we're coming back to our heritage and, and, and if we're coming back to our laws, are we not supposed to go back to our own calendar? All right. That he acknowledged and even the uh, guy in the crowd acknowledged that there's a, a biblical calendar that the Israelites went by and, and there's a man-made calendar. Okay. And this is why I'm doing this lesson for edification, that there's different calendars, okay? All right, and, there, and these days of the week are not found even in the, the uh, Bible. All right, now it says here, the New Living Translation, which is, it's like, you know, which is a, um, a, a recent translation of the Bible, which they translated that from the King James Version. All these different English versions, they, they all get them from the King James Version. All right? Now, when you read in the New Living Translation, all right, this is Matthew 28 and 1. Uh, it says, early on Sunday morning, as the new day was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went out to visit the tomb. Now, in the New Living Translation, it says Sunday. All right. So you can say, oh, well, well, see, that's in the Bible. Sunday's in the Bible. But that's a new living, it's a new translation. It's a watered down, uh, a, a, a mistranslated version of the Bible. Now, when you click on this, uh, this um, up here on the right above the word morning, it says here, it says Greek after the Sabbath on the first day of the week. Okay, so it's not going to it's not going to uh, uh, say 
Sunday in the Greek. Okay. All right. It's not going to say Sunday in the Greek. All right. It's going to it's going to say the Sabbath. Okay. Because that's what the Israelites, all right, the Jews at the time, all right, underneath the Romans, that's what they followed. They followed the Sabbath. They, we numbered our days of the week. That's why it says after the Sabbath, on the first day of the week. Not only on Sunday morning, if, if that was the, the uh, first day. That's something that we've been taught here in America. And this is something that we as Israelites coming back to our heritage, we, we must do. We can't go off of this calendar to 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 basically uh, designate our holy days, okay? We have to go according to the moon, all right? You know, mainly the moon. I mean, you know, the sun is there too. The sun, the, the sun, dic uh, that dictates the hours of the day, but we mainly go off of the moon, okay? Here in America, they don't go off of the moon. And the changing of the moon. They go off of um, the, uh, you know, their own calendar. You know, January through December, Sunday through Saturday. All right? Now, when you go to the King James Version, okay, Sunday's not there. Saturday's not going to be there. All right? So let's go back to the video. So, I, you know, I, I just want to make that point. But... I want to play this part as well. All right, so he says the calendar that everybody goes by today is the Gregorian calendar. All right? And that's the calendar that we go by here in this captivity here in America. All right? So that part is true. So now he's saying the calendar that Christ... Now that's what they call Yahweh Shai, you know, which his true name is Yahweh Shai, not Christ. That's a Greek, a Greek term. Okay, his name is Yahweh Shai. All right, Hamashiach, which means the Anointed One. Okay. All right. So he's going to go into the. So he's going to say that Yahweh Shai went by the Julian calendar. That's not true. The Julian calendar. Okay, I'm gonna play it again. Now that's not true. Yahweh Shai, who they ignorantly call Christ, is not did not go by the Roman calendar. Okay? So now let me pull this up. Okay. Let's see. Okay, let's see. It's one of these tabs. Uh Let's see here. It might be in this one because it mentions the uh, the Roman calendar. All right. Now, this is dealing with the biblical Sabbath. All right. Um, all right. It just says here that Shabbat in the Hebrew means day of rest. No, what's the word? Actually, just reads. Uh, I'm just means rest. But uh, the calendar that the Israelites went by were the, was their own calendar, okay? Uh, even in the time of the Romans. All right, let's see here. All right, now this is just a quick commentary. All right, you know, you know, for some scriptures. All right, uh, let's see. So 
So this is here we're underneath Lord of the Sabbath. Now this is dealing with Yahweh Shai. It says, when his disciples pick heads of wheat and eat them, Yahweh Shai tells objectors that because Sabbath was made for man, the Son of Man is Lord of Sabbath. All right? Uh, Sabbatarians believe that Sabbath keeping is central to following Yahweh Shai, and that's true. We hear... Uh, as Hebrew Israelites, we believe that following Yahweh Shai, you follow the Sabbath. All right? It doesn't say anything about Saturday. All right? It says, and that he highly regarded Sabbath. Okay? All right? Okay? Um... So this just proves that Yahweh Shai, he kept the calendar. Matter of fact, he kept the calendar of, uh, of um, Israel, not the Julian calendar. All right. Now, let's see. Uh, let's see. I want to get a. Uh, Dedication. All right? Now, when you go into the word dedication, right? When you go into the New Testament, all right? This is John 10 and 22. All right? It says, And it was at Jerusalem, the feast of the dedication, and it was winter, and Yahweh Shai walked in the temple in Solomon's porch. All right? So, Yahweh Shai... He went to the temple during the Feast of Dedication, which we know is Hanukkah. Okay? That's not found as a holiday that we hear using the, the, the uh, Gregorian calendar here in America that we observe. We don't observe the Gregorian calendar. Well, I mean, uh, I was shy. He didn't observed the Gregorian or the Julian calendar, he went by the, the, the uh, calendar that the Israelites went by to observe the feast. That's not a, the, on the Gregorian or Julian holiday, the feast of dedication, all right, that the Jews referenced, that wasn't on, on their to-do list. It wasn't one of their holidays. So this, so this just is a correction on what this guy here said about, um, about Yahweh Shah following the, the Julian calendar. He's highly mistaken, and he needs to be taught the correct way. All right? Because Bishop Nathaniel, Bishop Kanai, and the rest of those elders and deacons are not doing it the correct way. He has no business teaching, all right, the men around him and, and other people in the crowd that false doctrine. Okay? Because I, that is wrong. That is wrong. Okay? Nowhere in, is that history found in the Bible. So that's not something that the Julian calendar and the Gregorian calendar had nothing to do with the Israelites back then. Okay? Matter of fact, all of the uh, high holy days and the days of the, you know, the feast days, the Sabbath days, that was headed up back then at that time was the Sanhedrin or the Sanhedrin, which was over, uh, over, oversaw by the uh, uh, scribes and Pharisees at that time. And they went by the calendar in the law. Not the Gregorian, not the Julian calendar. All right, Yahweh Shai did not go by the Julian calendar. Okay? So, th so it was just one more point I wanted to make. Let's see here if I can find it. It's Sunday. That's right. Hey. Uh, I'm just pretty pretty toward the first day of the week. The first day of the week, according to this uh, verse right here, is Sunday. Because Saturday is the is the, end of the week. Over the, days of the week. The first day of the week, even in the right. Julian calendar, is Sunday. That's right. Read. Unless they're reading from the New Living Translation, that right? that's not. No. So and that it's still the one. In the Greek, it's the Sabbath. 
Sunday is the first day. Okay. All right. So now, let's still get back to the law. Leviticus 23. Let's get back to the law. And the months, I'm going to just give it to you. The months are instituted by the new moon. The new moon. Meaning when the moon is full in the sky, we're going to get those two. Right. Now, that's, that's the other point that I wanted to make, too. All right. They say that the new moon, all right, is... Um, the new moon is when the moon is full in the sky. But that's a full moon. Okay? That's a full moon. The new moon is a dark moon. Okay? A dark moon. All right? So who's ever been teaching this guy over there at uh, the IUSC Atlanta Church, he needs to get with his elders, and they need to, 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 to start watching the Great Millstone videos because they're teaching their congregation wrong. All right, the new moon is not a full moon. The new moon is a uh, a um, a dark moon. A full moon is a full bright moon. All right, let's go to the book of Genesis. All right, let's get Genesis Genesis one. All right, let's get Genesis one. This is Genesis, the first chapter, and the 14th verse. It says, And let the and the power said, uh, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And all right, and let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth, and it was so. And the powers made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, and the lesser light to rule the night, he made the stars also. So the, the, the greater light would be the sun, the lesser light would be the moon. Let's see what the new moon is. Uh, or let's see the phases of the moon. Okay? So let's go to the Apocrypha. All right? Let's go to Ecclesiastes, the 43rd chapter. And this is uh, Ecclesiastes 43 and 6. It says, He made the moon also to serve in her season for a declaration of times and a sign of the world. From the moon is the sign of feasts, right? a light that decreaseth in her perfection. Because when the light of the moon is fully dark, that's when you get a new moon. All right? That's when you get a new moon. It says the month is called after her name, increasing wonderfully in her changing, being an instrument of the armies above, shining in the firmament of heaven. Okay. So the so so as the the uh, moon decreases and and is fully decreased to no light, that's the new moon. Then it increases and you get a full bright moon. All right, that's a full moon. That's the middle of the month. That's not the new moon. That's not the beginning of the month, according to Scripture. So that guy is wrong, man. Okay? And I believe also, when you look up the word weeks, okay, in Google, uh, it means to, uh, it means to, uh, to, uh, to change. Okay, because the moon is changing its phases throughout the month every seven days. All right. And then when you get to the 28th day to the 29 and a half day, you get a new dark moon and then it increases again. Okay. Um, so that's all, you know, I wanted to speak on. Um, I just wanted to edify and bring out the uh, the true understanding of um the you know the Sabbath the moon you know the history and just you know correct where I U I C here in Atlanta was going wrong okay um uh, but uh, with that I'm gonna end it there I'm gonna give our praise and glory and honor to Yahweh by Shmuel was shy by Summer Kagwa Dash double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well hey, I U I C you need to start listening to Great Millstone. Getting the correct breakdowns and understanding history and look things up. Yahweh Shah didn't follow the Julian calendar. All right. Um, 
Saturday to Sunday is not the first day of the week. We went by the days according to the scriptures, which was one through seven. And the seventh day was the Sabbath in the Hebrew. All right. But with that, I'm going to say Shalom.